guys! So in my previous tea time video I talked a little bit about veganism versus zero waste, um, conscious consumerism and ways to reduce your impact on the planet. So in that video I promised that I would do a video soon where I would kind of share the little easy ways in which I try to reduce the amount of waste that I produce and the amount of plastic waste that I produce in my day-to-day -day life. So that video is here today. I'm going to share a few really, really simple ways with you today that you can reduce the amount of waste you produce pretty dramatically. But like I always say, every little step counts and every little effort is worth it. Some of these things are probably pretty obvious and you probably already do, but some of these, you know, may be new to you or spark a thought and that is kind of what I want to do today. I have divided up the items that I have in front of me today into kitchen and bathroom items, mostly because I feel like these two are the areas where the most waste is produced, especially the kitchen. For us in our household, that's the biggest kind of waste machine and those are also the two areas where I've made the most changes already so where I can you know talk about the things that I have actually done already so I'm gonna start in the kitchen and I have done a bunch in the kitchen to reduce my plastic waste I am not there at all yet I feel like there is still a lot more than I could do but I have made some progress already so the first thing which is a very obvious one but one I still want to mention is the things that I do my groceries in. In the Netherlands there is a kind of ban on disposable plastic bags and stores aren't allowed to just hand out plastic bags anymore you have to purchase them from the stores and you are very much encouraged to bring your own shopping bags and that is something I have actually been doing for years but even more now of course now that plastic bags aren't as readily available anymore so I always carry my own grocery bags when I go shopping when I go grocery shopping I usually carry some of these bags they are pretty large and sturdy bags I have a couple of these I have ones that kind of latch onto my bike so that I can carry them on my bike I have bigger ones I have smaller ones I have canvas bags I have some kind of really big plastic ones as well but I always carry a few of these when I know that I am going grocery shopping and then I also carry these tiny little foldable ones in my bag just at all times I always have one of these in my bag I have a couple and just all of my most used bags just have one of these in them somewhere and these are really really handy I always like to have these just in case I end up in a store which sometimes happens you know I don't always plan to go to a store and then it's nice to always just have one of these so that I never have to ask for a plastic bag and I always have something on me that I can put my things in plus it's just really handy if I end up you know taking my coat off or anything and not having anywhere to put it these have come in handy so many times I can't even count how often I've been glad I've had one of these so I always carry some reusable shopping bags with me that is kind of the first thing and one that I feel like could make a huge impact if you are someone who usually um, uses a lot of those disposable plastic bags. So the next thing is another pretty obvious one and one that is talked about a lot but one I feel is really really important because I do see so many people still using disposable plastic water bottles or just drink bottles in general. I can't even remember the last time I bought a bottle of water. I just always carry this one. Actually, this is my water bottle and yes, it is plastic and I choose to carry a plastic water bottle with me because I do carry this at all times and plastic is just a lot lighter than any metal or glass would be. Of course, glass or metal would be a little bit more environmentally friendly, easier to recycle and everything, but I do have every intention to use this for years and years and years. It is BPA free plastic. I know I can safely use this for years and you know, it's always better than buying plastic bottles. So I have been using this for a long time. Will continue to use this for a long time. Still, it's really nice and lightweight. And I just have this with me at all times filled with tap water. Now I am lucky that the tap water in the Netherlands is of an amazing quality and I can just drink it as it is, it has no weird flavors or anything but if the tap water in your country isn't as great then you may consider buying yourself a water filter and filtering your own water which you can then use to fill kind of refillable water bottles with. I also have a thermos which is in fact made of some type of metal and this I use to carry drinks that I want to stay either hot or cold 
Honestly, I usually end up carrying tea in this and I absolutely love this thing. I could use this as a water bottle as well, but like I mentioned, this is pretty heavy and realistically, I just can't see myself carrying this with me everywhere. Now, if you're someone who likes to get coffee on the go, then you could bring one of these to your coffee shop and ask them to fill your coffee in this and that way you can save one of those cups or you could even bring a travel mug with you. I have a few of those as well. I don't really use them that much anymore because I spend most of my time at home. I work from home. Those are definitely great to get your kind of drinks on the go in. Most baristas will be very happy to pour your drink in a reusable coffee mug so that could be something to consider as well. Now another thing kind of in the same category I do have is this tea tumbler which I use to bring loose leaf teas on the go and that is kind of a nice segue into my next point. Many tea bags are actually made of plastic and I feel like tea bags are just pretty wasteful in general because they're all individually wrapped and then they're in a box and the box is usually wrapped in plastic and the whole individual thingy. There's just a lot of waste that is very unnecessary in my opinion. So I have always been a big fan of loose leaf tea and I'm going to try and kind of stick to loose leaf tea even more now kind of going forward. So yes, loose leaf tea. You can often buy this in paper bags or at least here in the Netherlands, uh, stores that sell loose leaf tea usually sell them in paper bags or you could even try to bring your own container. Um, like, I mean, I could probably come over with just this jar and ask them to fill it straight into my jar, which is probably something I will try at some point in the future if I ever run out of tea. Loose leaf tea. It is usually much better quality than bagged tea. There is a lot of variety on the market. It is delicious and a lot less waste producing. So loose leaf tea. And I, when I'm not using my, you know, on the go tumbler, which I do like to use when I'm sitting on the balcony as well, just cause flies can't get in there. It's really convenient. Um, but when I'm just drinking my tea at home, you know, indoors, I just use this with one of my many strainers. I am a tea fanatic and as such a, you know, fun, cute little tea strainer is a pretty obvious gift for me. So I kind of end up receiving <laughs> tea strainers occasionally. So I have kind of accumulated a nice collection of really fun, quirky tea strainers. Um, so I will just use one of those, you know, this one is big enough to fill a whole pot of tea. And then I have a few ones that are kind of small enough for individual cups. Moving on into other things to carry or keep food in. Switching to glass Tupperware is something I am working on. I plan to use up my plastic Tupperware and when it starts to deteriorate and, you know, be ready to be replaced, I'm going to replace it with glass Tupperware. I'm not there just yet, but something I have done is to kind of tackle our food on the go, as it were. So Robert, I work from home, Robert goes to work and he packs his lunches at home. So I have purchased him a lunchbox. He has a larger lunchbox, which he currently has with him to work. But I mean, it's comparable to this one. It's just a little bit bigger. And this is reusable. Again, it is plastic, but that is just so that it's nice and light. He cycles to work. We just throw it in a dishwasher and then it is ready to be used infinitely. And for me personally, I take it one step further. <laughs> I use this thingy, which is a reusable kind of sandwich bag, I guess you could say. It is made of fabric and then it has a lining on the inside, which I do think is plastic. Yeah, most of it is fabric. It is this round little thing that you can use to, you know, pop your sandwich or your lunch in and then you just fold it up like that. It has Velcro on the inside. And it's a adorable little sandwich bag with the added bonus that it folds out into a little plate or a tray or just something that you can use to keep your food on. You can wash this, reuse it. It looks absolutely adorable. I, I got this for my birthday and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, it is super lightweight, super, you know, compact. Once you finish your food, it folds up into like this tiny thing. So I absolutely love this. This is by the brand Keep Leaf, but I'm sure you'll be able to find something similar on Etsy or just anywhere online. Now I talked briefly about storing food. I personally hate throwing out food. It's just, it just doesn't feel good. So I always try to use everything up that we have, but we are a household of two. So we often have leftovers and I do always like to store our leftovers either in, you know, Tupperware containers and use them up later. But when we have vegetables that we've just used half of or something, I have these little containers. I remember in a What I Eat In A Day video a while ago, I used a little bit of plastic wrap to cover 
an onion or something or a lemon that I'd only use half of and someone commented that I'd better just, you know, put the lemon on a plate and store it like that. So I have been doing that, but I recently got gifted these containers, which are amazing actually. These are specifically designed for storing, you know, cut up fruits and veggies or kind of halves of fruits and veggies. If the fruit or vegetable is small enough to fit in here, you can just place it with the cut side down, close it up and it is actually airtight which is perfect, so bacteria can't reach it. If it is kind of taller, uh, like, you know, an aubergine or something, then you can just put it, again, cut side down and it'll just stand up in your fridge and it'll keep a lot longer like this. So I have three different sizes and I absolutely love these. They really help cut down the food waste. Something that I am hoping to buy in the future is some of that reusable wax paper that is pretty much just fabric with beeswax on it that works kind of like cling film but it's reducible and biodegradable so i still want to get my hands on some of that but until then i have these which i'm really happy with so another thing i have been using for a while are reusable stainless steel straws this is again one of those super easy replacements you literally just stop buying plastic straws get one set of stainless steel ones i have four and you can reuse these infinitely with no plastic waste at all. They come with a little kind of like pipe cleaner thingy that you can use to thoroughly clean the inside, which is good. I'm very happy with that. I think these are very comfortable to use. I know you can also buy glass and bamboo ones if you don't like the feeling of stainless steel, but I really, really like these. So I'm very happy with these. So another thing I've been using for a long time are reusable baking sheets. This is, um, or, well, kind of, I guess, reusable baking paper, is that what you call it? This you just put down on your baking tray. It works just like baking paper or baking sheets and you can wash it. It is reusable. This one is actually non-stick. I have a few silicone ones as well. So the last kitchen item I have is this one. It is a very simple, you know, dish scrubbing brush. And I have replaced my plastic dish scrubbing brushes with this one, which is wood, metal, and kind of natural hairs up here. Again, super easy replacement. Instead of a plastic one, just buy a wooden and kind of natural one. It's easier to recycle. And this one actually comes with a top that you can just pop off and then replace, just replace the top. I do think it's a little bit funny that the store that sells these doesn't actually sell the replacements separately. So I'll, I'm gonna have to find a solution for that, but in theory, <laughs> it's a good idea. Now moving on into the bathroom things. And this is a, something where I still have a lot to gain. There are still loads of swaps that I can make and I'm kind of slowly working toward that as well. I'm gonna use everything that I already have up first. And then when the time comes to replace things, I will try to replace them with a little bit more, less wasteful products. But something that I have already done, first of all, and this is something gigantic. I feel like this has maybe made the biggest impact of everything that I have done. And that is to use a menstrual cup. This is one that I don't use, no worries. <laughs> um, this is my Diva cup and I use a different one but a menstrual cup has helped me cut down on so much waste not to mention it is an amazing thing i love this i have a few videos on menstrual cups and my experience with them i am fully converted <laughs> have been using one for a couple of years now absolutely love it i don't ever want to go back to using pads i used pads before this i have always hated tampons still hate tampons i can absolutely bear a menstrual cup i know some people worry about that it's completely different in my opinion. Yes, if you would like more information on menstrual cups, I have, like I mentioned, whole videos on those, so I will link those. But that has saved me so many pads. And along with my menstrual cup, I actually use cloth liners. These are panty liners and they are made of cotton fabric, uh, which makes them reusable. I like to use these on light days where I just have a few drops of blood or, you know, when I'm spotting or something like that, or just on occasions where I usually would use a panty liner, I will use these reusable cloth ones. They are super easy. You just kind of snap them around the bottom of your panties like that and they stay on. And when you're done, you can just throw them in the wash. For me, they have always come out completely clean. They are barely stained if at all. I am glad that they are a dark color though, that makes it a little bit easier. But yes, I swear by these, love them. They're super comfortable, so easy to use. They save so much money because, you know, they're not disposable and a lot of waste. So absolutely love these. These are from the Glad Rags brand, but again, you can find these pretty much anywhere online 
or maybe in some kind of like health food stores. So on the topic of reusable cotton thingies, I recently made my own <laughs> reusable cotton rounds to remove makeup and apply toner with and things like that. I just kind of recycled an old t-shirt that I had, which was kind of stained and too big and I didn't really want anymore. And I just made these DIY reusable cotton rounds. So I now use these to remove my makeup and apply toner, like I mentioned. I have the DIY on my blog. It is the simplest thing ever. So if you want to check that out, I will link it once again. If you do make them white and you are planning to remove makeup with them, they will stain. So keep that in mind. You may want to choose a darker color if you plan to use them to remove mascara and lipstick and things like that. But Love these. Again, you can just throw them in the washer and they come out all clean and you can keep reusing them until they fall apart, which should take a very long time. So that's great. Now, if I'm not using those to remove my makeup, I will use either a um, makeup removing oil, which I then just wash off with my hands, or I will use one of those makeup removing microfiber thingies. I've heard that microfiber isn't the best to use, but it is super, super effective at cleaning both makeup and around the house. So I'm kind of undecided about microfiber yet, whether I'm, you know, for or against it. <laughs> I am using it now, at least until I use all of the microfiber up that I have in my home at the moment. So this is amazing for removing makeup as well. You just need a little bit of warm water and everything comes right off. It is really quite magical. So another swap I have made is I have started using bar soaps instead of hand soap. I do still have hand soap in my kitchen just because I feel, feel like it's a little bit more hygienic. And I also have a little bit of uh, liquid soap in my bathroom, mostly for guests and for Robert. But for myself, I have been using bar soap. Like for example, I have this one here by Della Merce. It smells amazing. And this is made by a small company. It's all vegan and just, I, I love this stuff. Again, soap is one of those things that's just kind of an obvious gift for people or for me at least. So I have like a lifetime supply of bar soap, which is amazing. So I have been using that instead of liquid soap. And for the kind of liquid soap that I do use, liquid hand soap, I buy those giant containers and I just refill kind of refillable bottles in both my kitchen and my bathroom. So the very last thing is my beauty products. And like I mentioned, I'm trying to kind of make those more sustainable. So I have been trying to buy things that come in either larger containers or glass containers. So for example, I have my hair oil here, which I absolutely adore. It's the Innate Life Rose Hair Elixir. And this comes in a, in a glass bottle, which is wonderful because it's much easier to recycle. And also it's a natural product. I have been trying to go back to a more kind of natural beauty routine. Again, I kind of go back and forth between natural and not natural. Um, so I'm in a more natural phase again now. <laughs> so I have been using a kind of simpler, more natural products in my beauty routine and trying to make sure that they come in, you know, glass packaging preferably. So those are some of the kind of more environmentally friendly swaps that I have tried to make around my house. I'm sure there is more, but this video is getting, you know, long enough already. So do let me know what it is that you're doing to reduce your plastic waste at the moment. And um, hopefully I've given you some ideas, you know, for extra things that you could do little changes you can make around your life that make a big impact. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there will be a link in the description box below. Thank you so much. There's another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.